everyone! Welcome back to Pixie Woo! Today's video I'm going to do for you is something a little bit different. This week Sam and I have a Pixie Woo course on, so we have got 12 students. Um, you can probably hear them in the background because they've just come in and I said to them, how would you like to be in one of my videos? And we can show how to do different eyeliner on all different eyes. Now I find it really hard to categorise what eye shape someone has because everyone's different and everyone's eyes are individual. So hopefully someone in these 12 um, guys may have eyes that are similar to yours and if so then you can, it will show you how to do um, liner on that shape eyes. Um, I hope you enjoy guys, let me, I'm going to get the guys in, they're going to say their name, where they're from, I'm going to do one liner on camera and then the other one I'm going to do off camera because um, I won't have time to do 12 people on camera because it would be a really really long video. So rather than mum mumbling on, let's get started. Hello, I'm Christy, I'm from California. Okay, on Christy I've chosen to use a uh, Louise Young liner brush because it's really fine got the Laura Mercier gel liner because it's very, very liquidy. And if you just look down for me and just turn your head that way, I'm going to go in a sideways. Just let the brush do the work and just push it on and then pull along. I don't want to go too flicked. I almost want to keep this nice and long. Lovely. So actually, it's just giving you, we've gone very thin on Christie's eyes because when you open them, if it was too thick, it would show the whole of your lid. So we want it nice and thin on the eye. And if we flicked it up too much at the sides, you wouldn't see it when the eyes are open as well. Hi, I'm Cindy and I'm from Norwich. Okay, on Cindy, I'm actually going for something different. I'm going to go for a black eyeshadow and an angle brush. Now Cindy's got reasonably deep set eyes so we want to not take the liner too far back and, any, and a black liner probably wouldn't be seen so much a gel so we're going to take an eyeshadow and just push it along the lash line and then slightly wing it up in the corner and then take a soft brush and just blend it in. Now Cindy definitely could wear an eyeliner, a gel liner, but I think an eyeshadow is just a little bit more flattering and a bit softer. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm from Aberdeenshire. Okay, now you can see Tiffany's got really lovely big eyes. So I'm going to go in the waterline on Tiffany and I'm also going to go a little bit bigger with the flick and we can actually flick out. If you just squeeze me, I changed brush with one that's a little bit thicker on the end, so I've got a bit more stability with it. Because I'm going thicker, I can use one slightly thicker. So just plot in my line. If you struggle with the corner or knowing where to put your liner, just get yourself an angle brush. Just open for me Tiffany, but look straight and just place that where you want your flick to be. And that will just help you give a, have a little bit of a guide. Just look down for me. I'm going to change brush again. I'm going to get a very, very fine brush. Obviously you can do this with one brush, but I'm showing you different options. And then if you look down in that way for me, I'm just going to use that to place on here. So get a really nice line in the corner and open for me. Lovely. I'm going to use the same fine brush. If you look just down for me, I'm going to pull Tiffany's eye up slightly and I'm going to go inside the waterline. Because Tiffany's eyes are so big, you can see that waterline when her eyes are open. So, And she's very fair. We need to make sure that that's really black as well. So there you have both eyes down on Tiffany. Hi, I'm Nicole and I'm from Kent. Okay, on Nicole, her eyes, if you look at the, um, the top lash line, it goes slightly down in the corner. So a flick isn't going to work so brilliantly. Do you ever wear a flick? 
No. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to use to wear. So we want to make the most of the eyes and lift them a little bit. So I'm going to take a black eyeshadow and an angle brush. I'm going to push it along the lash line. So it's still giving us a black liner. Just open for me. Look down in that way. Get right in there. And you can still go in the waterline if you want. Just open for me. Because Nicole's actually got very big eyes, so we can go in the top waterline if we want. And we're just going to slightly lift up in that corner, but we're going to pull up with the brush. And then I'm going to take a MAC 239 and pull back. So it's just blending that eyeliner in. Just turn to me a little bit. Lovely. So can you, you see, it's just given a nice flick or a little bit of colour and a little bit of a black liner, but it's very, very soft rather than so harsh. Once you've blended that out, just going to go in with a little bit more. And just keep building it. So there you have the eyeliner. Hi, my name is Maya and I'm from Germany. Okay, Anna May, hasn't she just got beautiful eyes? They're so light. Um, Sam has done everyone's eyeshadows, just in case you're wondering. I'm going to do a really fine liner because you can see so much of the eye, but I'm going to wing it up slightly and then I'm going to use an eyeshadow to gradually smoke it in. You don't have to use the eyeshadow, but because this eye makeup is so beautiful, I'm going to add an eyeshadow to it. So if you can look down in that way for me. By looking down in that way, I can get right in the corner and it makes the eye a little bit tighter. Beautiful. I'm then going to take a little bit of black and just push that over the top. I'm just going to matte that out. And it also makes it a little bit more almost soft focus, so a bit softer. So if you didn't have eyeshadow on like this, you could use wear the liner on its own. But you wear liner on its own a lot, don't you? But I'm just going to take a little bit of the eyeshadow over the top, pulling back on itself. And then get a soft buffing brush and just soften that. Just open for me. So it almost blends into itself. So there we have the finished eyeliner on a May. Hello, I'm Taryn and I'm from Kent. Okay, now as you can see, Taryn is beautiful. She's got gorgeous big brows and a teeny weeny little perfect face. So we can really wing these eyes out nicely, as Sam has done with the eyeshadow. So if you just look down for me, and that way, I'm just going to pop a little bit of a line in here. We can go quite angled on there and just take it for me. Lovely. So, now, if you get a little bit of the liner that goes up the top, if you're quick, get yourself a Q-tip, hold the eye tight and just give it a little spin. And it should just get rid of it. Lovely. And I'm going to take that inside. If you look down for me, I'm going to take that right inside, but only in the back half of the eye to keep that even more winged out because we want to make Taryn's eyes a good long and wide as we can because we've got a lot of brow area we can work with. I'm almost going to make that fade off into nothing. Just open for me. Look at that. And there you have the finished eyeliner on Taryn. Mm -hmm. Hola, me llamo Cristina y soy de San Juan, Puerto Rico. Look at this beautiful girl and how massive are Cristina's eyes. They're so massive and beautiful but there's not, there is a lot of lid space but her eyes take over a majority of the space. So what I'm going to do is a very, rather than a thick bold line, I'm going to do a very fine slinky line and I'm going to draw, join it underneath because we have a lot of eye to work with. I'm also going to take it in the waterline on top of the eye. You can take it underneath as well, but I'm going to take it in the waterline on top of the eye just to make those eyes look a tiny bit, um, not quite so massive, even though they're beautiful being big. Right, just look down for me. Go 
gorgeous. And look down in that way for me. I'm going to get right in here. And up. So we've got a little bit of a lovely point going on there. Not that you really need your eyes to be made any bigger. Point that will elong elongate them a little bit. And just look up for me. I'm going to also bring that liner under the eye. Lovely. And then just look down for me. Lovely, and just look to the camera. Right, and just look down for me. So I'm just going to take this through the, wa the water line as well. And I'm using a brush that is slightly shorter and slightly firmer, but still very, very fine. Beautiful. Hello, my name's Amy and I'm from Dorset. Right, look at beautiful Amy's eyes. They are very, very large and they're quite round, aren't they, your eyes? So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to take the um, gel liner on the inside of the waterline, right the way across. I'm not going to put it on, the in, on this top inside. If that makes sense, does it? Top lash line. I'm just going to wing it out in the corner so we're elongating those eyes a little bit. So, just look down for me. So I'm going to take my, I know, sorry, it's horrible having someone with a brush in your eye, just open for me. So it's just made those lashes slightly longer and slightly fuller from the black. Lovely. And then in the corner, I am just going to, just open for me, look straight. I'm just going to take from about, look down for me now, lovely, from about here and just wing it out. Just turn your head slightly more this way. So you can see it's just the little end. I'm going to go even finer if I can here. And just look down for me. I'm going to fill that in a bit more. I need to turn that way because otherwise my head will cover the camera. And we won't see your beautiful face. So it's just giving us a lovely flick and just look at the camera for me. So you can see that's made the eyes look so much bigger but longer rather than rounder. And there you go, you can see that it's just winged it out slightly. Hi, I'm Jenny, I'm from London. Okay, look at Jenny's beautiful eyes. Jenny can get away with, you wear a thick line, don't you? Yeah. She can get away with any sort of line. We're going to do a little bit thick. I'm going to take it not on the inside waterline, but I might bring it underneath because I think it would just look gorgeous on you and we want to wing the eyes out a little bit on here. So just look down for me, Jenny. I'm just going to take a, um, this is kind of like a medium length brush and it's quite fine. Just look down for me. And I'm going to take that along the lash line and just collect for me. And I'm going to Pull that out. And open. Look down in that way. And I get right in here. And look up for me. I'm going to take it under here as well because I want to get that little. Look at me. I'm going to pull that right out there. So just wing the eye out a little bit there. Hello, my name's Eleanor, I'm from the Philippines. Right, well, Eleanor has got reasonably similar, but not the same, eyes to Jenny. So we're going to try something a little bit different. And you've never had this done either, have you? We're going to do quite a thick gel liner. Let's see how we get on. Right, just close for me. Because bear in mind, this won't really be seen so much when the eyes open so we can go reasonably thick and we have to go thick enough to be able to wing it out when the eyes open. Could you just open for me? Lovely. And look 
down and open and look down in that way for me. Let's go right in there. Open. Oh, nice. Can get a flick. And close. Okay, so I come with me Wafa, Minnesota. Hello, I'm Wafa from Saudi Arabia. On Wafa, we are going to do quite a thick line right the way along. So quite even, winged out. I'm not going to point it in the corners, so I've already done that. So, just look down for me first. I'm using a slightly thicker brush, so it just makes it quicker for me. And just look at the camera. That is the classic, most easiest eyeliner I think I've ever done on your perfect shaped eyes. As you can see, I haven't flicked it out too far. It's gone quite straight. It's not too much of a flick. Do you know what I am going to do on you? Sorry, you're going to get carried away now. I'm not going to do a point in the corner, but I am. If you look up for me. I'm going to take the liner. Right the way under. The camera. I couldn't resist but do something a little bit quirky on your eyes. Hi, I'm Amy and I'm from Yorkshire. On Amy, I'm going to use a black eyeshadow and an angle brush. Amy's got lovely eyes anyway and I probably wouldn't put a black liner on her because they're just so beautiful anyway. But just close me, I'm going to push the eyeshadow just to make the eye look a little bit thicker. Just to make the lash line look thicker. Open for me. Lovely. And close. I'm just going to pull it out. Do it gradually so you can see how far you can go and how much you can extend this, the eye shape. Open for me. And then I'm just going to keep going and softly buff that in. So it's pulling the colour back upwards and you can go over the top with an eyeliner if you wish afterwards, but I want to keep it really almost soft focus. And open for me. That's lovely. Can you see how much softer that is than the gel? It's so nice. Open. And I'm not going to go any more than that. So there you have it, 12 different eye shapes, 12 different liners. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting and hopefully you've taken something from that video. Um, I'd like to thank all the students and now my friends um, for participating in the video. Thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed the course. Take care, love you lots and I'll see everyone soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all the other stuff. Take care. Bye.